Hi everyone. Today I'm going on a solo date. Um, this wasn't really planned, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go with it because I've already bought the tickets, invested the time, so I'm going. I was meant to be going to the cinema with my friends, but long story logistics, um, she's not coming. So rather than sitting by myself and eat another tray of tiramisu or something like that, I thought, you know what? why don't i just be brave and go to the cinema by myself because i actually really really want to see the movie the movie i'm going to go and see is the whitney houston story and oh my gosh it's so good i think it's called i want to dance with somebody but the trailer looks amazing i've heard such good reviews i really really want to go and see the film so i'm being brave and i'm actually going to go by myself i'm going to leave in about half an hour i've never ever ever gone to the cinema by myself so I'm not gonna lie, I am a bit nervous. <laughs> when I was a bit younger, I was the person that was like, oh, that person's come to the cinema by themselves. Oh, I wonder what's happened. And now I'm like, oh, it's gonna be me. But do you know what? I know a lot of people do it and why not? Because if you wanna see something, why are you gonna wait and hold your plans up and depend on someone else? So today I'm taking my own advice and just being bold, being confident, being brave, going out there and I'm actually gonna go and enjoy myself. So I'm gonna finish getting ready now and then I'm gonna go. I'm ready. I really wanted to wear a skirt, but it is really, really cold out there. So I've just gone for trousers and this bright turtleneck and um, I'm gonna wear like my white trainers with it. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a cozy cinema date. Um, so I think we are ready to go. I'm here at the cinema, I made it. Um, parking is abysmal, but um, I'm here. I am a little bit nervous, but um, <laughs> the film starts soon. So I'm just gonna shut my eyes and not even think about it and just go. I just came out and oh my god it was so good oh my god like i'm still <laughs> it was kind of long though i think like two and a half hours but i'm so glad that i went um i'm absolutely freezing so i'm gonna start driving home now um but yeah so good so i'm back home now and i don't know what i was worried about that was so good i had such a good time um it was really comfortable. I thought I was going to be really like awkward and people might look at me and someone might think I'm a loser because I'm in the cinema on my own, but nobody batted an eyelid. Everyone was like too busy looking at the film or with their friends and stuff. So yeah, the film was amazing. I'm really glad that I actually went to go and see that film because I wanted to. <laughs> so, you know, tick that off my list. Um, overall, the experience was I would say comfortable. I think it does take getting used to like being in your own company and being like around a lot of people on your own for in a setting like that. It can take a little bit of time. Um, but no, I just went with it. I think at the end of the day, it's all about having confidence. And if you just sit like you belong there, then um, I think you just, your body just kind of like acts like that. So I would definitely do that again. Um, Cause it actually reminds me how much, one, I love the cinema and two, how much I actually like watching films on my own. Sometimes when I'm watching a film with someone else, like, I don't know, I can't really get into it or I, I lose focus because the other person's talking or I don't know, I'm just too conscious of the other person. Um, so I just get distracted, but no, I actually really, really enjoyed it. And um, I think it was good for me as well to be on my own for a bit and just have a night of enjoying my own company and doing what I want to do. Um, not having to think about entertaining anyone else or like doing anything like that. So. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually kind of wanted to, to go somewhere else afterwards. I was thinking of maybe going um, to get dessert or something, but I'm actually kind of tired. So <laughs> calling it a night, um, I'm gonna have a shower, take off my makeup, take off my lashes, and then I'm gonna jump in bed um, and get to sleep because I've got a busy day tomorrow. But yeah, no, my tips, if you are thinking of going on a solo date, absolutely go. Don't even give yourself enough time to overthink it and talk yourself out of it. Whatever you want to do, just book it online, get like a reservation, get a seat number, whatever, to make sure that you know exactly where you're going. You actually find out when you're there 
everything that you're thinking overthinking in your head it actually doesn't matter because no one is paying any attention to you so yeah if you're thinking of going on a solo date i 100 percent recommend it but we've got to the part of the video that i hate um and i don't know what to say how to end this video so thank you for watching and i will see you on my next one bye